then we're going to enter the most important part of today's lecture. Balance the redox reaction. Question you're going to encounter in your homework. OK, it's going to give you this reaction and then ask you to actually balance the reactions. And in your homework, it's going to ask you what is the coefficient in front of a certain chemical. So how do you solve these balancing questions? So here I summarize all the steps that you need to know. So these are the steps that we are going to use. So in your questions, it will always, always tell you you are actually in a acidic solution or basic solution. So the first thing is actually you need to identify you are in the acidic or the basic solution. The reason that is important is because when you balance these equations, this step is to balance the atoms. Then depending on your acidic solution or basic solution, the things you add in into your equation will be different. So here I will just quickly summarize the things we are going to do. If you have acidic solution, if you want to add in protons to balance your atom, you use H plus, but in basic solution, you use H2O. If you want to add in oxygen in the acidic solution, you use H2O. And in the basic solution, you use 2OH minus. So these are the things that you want to actually memorize it. Once you identify what kind of solution you have, the first step is actually write out the two half reactions. Second step is actually once you have two half reactions, you balance all atoms using either H2O, H plus, or OH minus if you have basic solution. And then once you balance all the atoms, then you balance the charges using electrons. So let me highlight the things that we're going to add in. And then once you balance the charge with electrons in both half reactions, then you balance the total electrons you have in the two half reactions, and then you're just adding a lot. So it sounds very complicated, but I think if we do one example for you, then you will feel a lot more comfortable. Balance the following reactions in the acidic solution. When we say acidic solution, it means if you need protons, you use H+. If you need oxygen, you use H2O. So the first step is actually you want to write out the two half reactions, right? So again, you need to actually identify the oxidation number of each species first. So here you should see that Fe is 2 plus, right? MnO4 minus, that means your Mn is plus 7. Once you form the product, your Fe now become positive 3. And then Nn2 plus will be just 2 plus. So by doing this analysis, you're going to have write out your two half reaction, right? One is Laura, one is your Jira. OK, so who is actually your Laura? Whose oxidation number increases? Fe, right? So you know you need to write Fe2 plus is going to become Fe3 plus. OK, that's actually the half reaction for your Laura. And then the other half will be your MnO4 minus is going to become your Mn2 plus. So let's actually the step number one. Write out your Laura and Jira. So what is step number two? You have to balance all the atoms, right? So if you look at Laura reactions, is the atom balanced? It's balanced already, right? You have a one ion on the left, one ion on the right. For the Laura, step two is actually done already. How about your Jira? It's not balanced yet, right? You have more oxygens on the left. So you need to actually balance the oxygen. To balance the oxygen in the acidic solution, you add in what? You add in H2O. How many H2O do you need to add in? Four H2O need to add in, right? You have four oxygen here, right? So you know you need to add in four H2O on the right. So you balance your oxygen. 
But at the same time, you introduce what? You introduce the hydrogen. So to balance the hydrogen, you need to use H plus. Therefore, you know you need to add AH plus on the left. So up to this point, you also balanced your G rock. OK, so let's actually step number two, right? Step number three, you want to balance the charge of your LoRa and G rock. For your LoRa, on the left is 2 plus, on the right is 3 plus. Then you know you need to add in one electron, so that both sides will be 2 plus. For the G-Rock, let's look at the total charges you have. MnO4 minus, therefore, for this species, overall it carries negative 1 charge. You have A protons, that means it carries A positive one charge. Therefore, for the left hand side here, you totally carries seven positive charge. How about on the right? This is only charged species, right? Therefore, on the right is actually positive two. Left hand side is positive seven, right hand side is positive two. You want to add in electrons to balance the two, right? Therefore, you know you need to add in five electrons on the left hand side so that it will also be positive two. Step number four is that, okay, once you put in those charges for your LoRa and G Rock, you realize on the top you only generate one electron, right? At the bottom, you need to take five electrons. They are not balanced. What you need to do is multiply the things on the top okay, to match the electrons that you're going to give them at the bottom. So in this case, you need to multiply by 5. So in the end, what you're going to have is actually 5Fe2+, plus become 5Fe3+, plus, and then totally you have 5 electrons given up. And then once you do that, then you can just add in or what? So once you're adding up, you're going to get 5Fe2 plus plus MnO4 minus plus AH plus plus 5 electrons. That's going to give you 5Fe3 plus plus 5 electrons plus Mn2 plus plus 4H2O. And then you will see that five electrons, five electrons is going to cancel out. So the final answer you are going to get is five Fe two plus plus NnO four minus plus AH plus. They give you five Fe three plus plus Mn two plus plus four H two O. And then in your homework, you will ask you what is the coefficient, for example, in front of H2O. Then you need to select the answer of four. The key is actually you follow these five steps so you can actually get down to the final equations. If you go to next slides, there's actually another example, right? But it's actually asks you to balance the reaction in the basic solution. So the only difference of leg questions to this one is that the way you balance your atom will be different because right now it's in the basic solution. So if you want to add in protons, you use H2O. If you add in oxygens, use 2OH minus.